No picky, picky, picky. Picking at your zits can cause permanent scarring. Hey, like, has anyone seen my rubber gloves and tweezers? I've got this huge throbbing zit on the tip of my nose. I mean, I look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer over here. Now, now, I'm not trying to slam Rudolph or anything. You know, it's a real drag when you got a zit like his that glows and stuff. But I'm working on a beacon of my own here. That's why I'm so glad that we've got someone here today who knows everything there is about zits, pimples, and acne. Hey, Rocky, get in here. <laughs> Yow, and I thought I had an acne problem. Jeez, by the looks of your acne, I'd say you've been eating cheeseburgers and crazy french fries all week. Oh, wait, wait, I got it. Maybe you down to crate a chocolate. Or maybe it's all that hair. Hey, man, pimples aren't caused by food or candy or even hair in your face. No, mijo. Don't you know, zits are mainly caused by a combination of dead skin cells and pores and skin oils and bacteria. Bacteria. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know all about zits and pimples, man. When I was a teenager, I had all sorts of zits, like, all over my head. Oh, it was disgusting, man. You could squeeze my head and boom, i blow up on you, baby. Yeah, but isn't it a fact that zits, blackheads, pimples, and cysts are most common in teenagers because their bodies are changing so fast that their body chemicals are going wild and making huge amounts of skin oils or sebum. Yeah, it's all true, man. But I'm telling you, I got so many zits once, my whole head blew up. Oh, man, all over the teacher. <laughs> it was disgusting. Your whole head blew up? Okay, but it felt like it did. Okay, Rocky, thanks for that wonderful little over-exaggerated anecdote. From now on, just stick with the facts, okay? If you want to make some zits for yourself, just check out the demonstration poster behind us. Or if you want to hear more about zits, click on Rocky. If you want to get a real close-up and explore... Click on the throbbing brain icon on the chalkboard. In the meantime, I gotta find an ice pick or something so I can pop this huge sit before it gets too heavy to hold up. Later. Hey, man, did you know that the combination of dead skin cells, pores, skin oils, and bacteria is the sure shot recipe for zits, man? Oh. Abdominal muscles, powerful tissues in your abdomen, which control body movement, more commonly referred to as abs. Abdominal muscle capillaries, incredibly tiny blood vessels that are so small that only one blood cell can pass through at a time. Adenoids. Filters located at the end of the nasal passage that trap germs in the air before they can get into your body. Epidermis. Hey, skin is like a birthday cake, as it is made of layers. Epi means outer, so the epidermis is the top layer you can see. It is made of dead and dying skin cells. Meissner's ending, a nerve ending in the dermis which senses light pressure on your skin. Oh! Pacini's ending! A nerve ending in the dermis which senses heavy pressure on your skin. Oh! Hee-wee! My fellow Americans, I'm declaring this a disaster zone! Ew! Comido, the impressive medical name for a big old zit. Comidos are made when sebum, bacteria, and dead skin cells clump together and clog the pore. Mole, hey, 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 an area of dark colored raised skin. Moles, along with warts, are often drawn on storybook goblins and witches, you know. 
sebaceous gland, an organ in skin that makes sebum, a greasy material that keeps the skin soft and slimy and zitty. <laughs> My god, it's like so nasty and stuff. Erector pili muscle, a really long and fancy name for muscles that make your hair stand on end when you're cold or scared. Hey, <laughs> basically, you get the goosebumps. Hair bulb, the place where new hair is actually made. The hair in the hair bulb is actually alive, and then it dies by the time it sticks out of your skin. Whoa. A dermatologist, that's a doctor who specializes Okay, one zit is a pimple. A bunch of zits is acne. Check it out, man. Like, it's all over your face and everything. Hey, man, zits or acne or pimples, hey, call it what you will, they're still gross, you know? The combination of dead skin cells, pores, skin oils, and bacteria is the sure shot recipe for zits, man. Oh, and speaking of shot, here's your big chance to launch zits onto the faces of your favorite, <laughs> or your least favorite, grossology characters. <laughs> okay, the object of the game is to not let your playfield get filled up with disgusting oils and dead skin cells and bacteria. By using your zit pumper, try to get at least three identical items next to each other, either horizontally or vertically. Each time you match more than four identical items, a zit is sent over to your opponent's character. Ow! -ho! Shoot enough zits over there and his hair will blow. <laughs> Thank you. 
If you want total control over your pimply face, you gotta stay cool, man. Like stress increases zit flare-ups, man. Yeah! Hey, man, did you know that the combination of dead skin cells, pores, skin oils, and bacteria is the sure shot recipe for zits, man? Oh! Hey, check this out. What's the largest organ in the human body, man? The heart? No! The stomach? Not even, man! The intestines? Ah, be for real! Check it out! It's the skin, man! Cool, huh? I got all kinds of stuff like that! <laughs> Dude! Hey, if you got one of those magnifying glasses, you can look at the surface of your skin and you see millions of little holes or pores, you know, and lots of little hairs. Yeah! Hey, those are the little hairs that poke out of the pores. Man, you gotta check it out. <laughs> hey, man, like I told Ginger, all acne starts the same way, man. Yeah, dead skin cells shed inside the pores. The dead skin cells clump together with skin oils or sebum and bacteria and bacteria waste, man, in the pore to form a comedo. Yeah, if the comedo doesn't open up, white blood cells start to collect in the area and eat up all the material, eh? Jump, jump, baby! And pus starts to form and moves up to the surface. And hey, hey brothers and sisters, a zit is born, baby! <laughs> Hey, I bet you didn't know there's a lot of things on your skin you can't even see, man. Not even with a magnifying glass. No way! You know, like blood cells and pus, oil, sweat. And check this out, mijo. Teeny weeny creatures called bacteria, man. Oh. Hey, your skin does a lot of great things for you, like keeping your body fluids, control your body temperature, and give you a sense of touch. Oh, yeah. Hey, if you want to know how zitty you're going to be as a teenager, ask your parents, man. Yeah, your parents' zittiness is passed down to you. So remember, when you get pimples, it's your parents' fault. <laughs> or maybe your grandparents. Hey, or maybe their grandparents' grandparents. Hey, cool. Hey, the yellow stringy thing that comes out of a blackhead when you squeeze it? It's actually dried up grease from the sebaceous glands. How lovely. The subcutaneous fat layer beneath your skin? It helps cushion and protect your body from falls and bumps. Ow! Quick, name the largest organ in your body. Nope. It's not your heart or lungs or liver or brain. It is your skin. An average adult's skin covers about 18 feet if all spread out. <laughs> 